How to get those records, tapes and CDs onto your smartphone. A huge amount of the world's audio has been digitized, but many veterans of the analog age still have out-of-print albums, lectures and other content locked on vinyl records, cassettes and CDs. Converting the audio to digital formats for personal use is much simpler than it used to be, thanks in part to gadgets that connect to a computer's USB port. In addition to making files that play on your smartphone or media server, digitizing your analog audio creates an electronic archive you can store online for safekeeping. The steps for converting your old recordings vary on the formats and equipment you have, but here's a general outline of the process and the equipment you may need. Get audio editing software. No matter what type of analog media you're converting, you need software to digitize it. Capturing the audio to a computer has been a common approach for decades, and free programs to do the job include Apple's GarageBand for Mac and the open source Audacity, for Windows, Mac and Linux, which has its own guide for converting records and tapes. Commercial software is also available, like Roxio's $50 Easy LP to MP3 or the $40 Golden Records from NCH software. Choose a digital format for recording. Uncompressed or lossless formats like WAV, FLAC and IFE preserve more of the original audio for higher quality sound, but compressed formats like MP3 create smaller files. Follow the software's instructions for importing audio. After you capture the whole album, you can use the program to slice up the recording into individual tracks, label the songs, and clean up hiss, pops and other noise. Digitize vinyl. If your stereo equipment is long gone but you held on to your old records for sentimental reasons, using a compact USB-based conversion turntable that connects directly to the computer is one approach. You may not have ultimate control over the recording quality, but it's usually the easiest process to convert the vinyl yourself. For the less technically inclined, Iron Audio makes several conversion turntables, including the $110 Premier LP which connects to the computer with a USB cable and includes its own conversion software. Audio-Technica, Crossley and Sony also make USB turntables. If you still have a turntable with a headphone jack or a port labeled line, or a stereo receiver with a phono input for the record player, a device called a USB phono preamplifier links your hardware together with audio and USB cables to pump the sound into the computer for recording. Art Pro Audio USB Phono Plus $100, and Reloop by Phono 2 USB recording interface, about $100 in the United States, are two options. For USB-based recording using older turntable systems without the headphone jack or line output, you'll most likely need to include a separate Phono preamplifier box to boost the audio. For more on this story, visit the news article link.